somebody and they kind of feel like if you were supposed to be the creative director, that was something that you should have been doing. So how did you feel about that? I was actually genuinely, and everybody said I was sarcastic, but I was genuinely happy because at least we got one group. I was like, because the whole time it was like two groups, two groups, two groups. If she felt in her brain that she saw a vision for one group, okay. I did not feel like it was great timing just because we hadn't known each other long enough to know individually what each artist wants to bring to the table. So just to like lay out some pictures of just like your vision is fine. I, I was, I took it because everybody was interested, but I knew mm -hmm. that we were going to have to dig a little bit deeper into what each person wanted to represent in the group to make it work. It has to be like organic. It mm -hmm. can't just somebody puts on you. Gotcha. I feel what you're saying. Um, like, you know, that was, you know, kind of dope with um, Aubrey was, you know, coming up with or whatever the things that she was trying to add or whatever. But to me, with anything, it's not the creative direction is never going to come from one person. Mm -hmm. when you have like a house full of people who are creative. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely everybody is going to have ideas, at least they're supposed to, and be able to, you know, contribute something to the vision. You yeah. know, so especially. Um, Especially artists, like, I've worked with new artists, and it's a lot easier to tell them, like, oh, you should do this and wear this and that and that and that. But mm -hmm. these women have all had success. They know what they're doing. They don't need somebody to tell them about themselves. They need somebody just who's going to execute their vision, whatever they say. I was just like, I'll be over there doing it. <laughs> right, right. Um, somebody said that I had uh, forgot to say who Sita was. So I'm sorry. We did go through everybody that was in the house that were artists. But Sita was an animated host on BET, I guess it was the early 2000s. Yeah, in the 90s. The late yeah. 90s. As in Cedar's world. Yeah, Cedar's world. That's right. So um, she's not um, a physical, real person. I mean, I'm, I know it's somebody's voice who's doing it, but um, it's more of a cartoon, virtual um, person that they got to talk to, you know, on the television. Mm -hmm. So, um, any. Oh, here's another question. So when y'all was stuck in the house, like, I didn't know, it, was this like the Big Brother house when you don't really get to talk to people outside the house? How'd that work? We couldn't they have to take our phones. Remember when they tried to take I'm our phones? Oh, I, I need my phone. I got four kids. But no, <laughs> we couldn't leave the house. No mm -hmm. one out to enter. We're going to have, I don't know, I'm not giving away too much, but we're going to have like a listening party. And mm -hmm. the that come aren't even entering into the house. So we were literally in there with each other for 30 days. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But you did get, your, get to keep your phone. They tried. They tried to take our all locked ourselves in our rooms. <laughs> we were all like, bye. Gotta go. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. I, we all, a lot of us had kids. We needed to talk to our families. It was unreasonable to think. I understood they didn't want us to be like on our phones. But then like, for a lot of us, like, if you're thinking of ideas or looks or something you want for, you need, you need your phone. That's your mm -hmm. connection to not just your family, but to your job, to your work. So they, gotcha. they lost that battle, but they tried to take the phones. They tried <laughs> Big Brother, like, isolation, and we were like, nah. Yeah, that's, that's harder to do in this type of situation, I'm sure. Right. So, okay, when it was time to get in the booth, what were y'all thinking? I stepped up first. I was like, let's go. You said what? I stepped up Of first. course you were saying that, but when, <laughs> when you heard some of the other people, what were you thinking? You don't have the name, no name. I just honestly thought this that was our first date. So, I mean, yeah, we can be like, Ooh, hell, I was a little rusty too, but I felt like maybe let's see how we do as we try to get the songs together. I was really the least judgmental, I think. Uh, Kayla, oh, what you were thinking? When I, I was thinking that I was being peer pressured and I was under duress and I didn't want to do this. And I was like, don't, I fought. I didn't want to get in the booth. And I was not like, I was like, no, this is messy. This looks weird. I don't need to be. And they were like, Elijah comes up with the lowest note possible. And he's like, the person who can hit this note. Thing in your most baritone voice. 
And so I, I mean, I was just like, fuck it, let, let's do it. I was trying to do the teamwork thing, like, let's mm-hmm. all get together, guys, and do it. That didn't work. Got it. Tried it, though. Mm-hmm. Tried it. Well, um, you know, I, 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 I felt, you know, I understand how it is when you have to hit the no notes for, low notes for the group, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, okay, I see what she's doing. But, you know, some people were trying to be like, why is she sitting that low note and everybody else is singing this way? I'll they don't it. get it, girl. They don't get it. It's, it's the octave. Yeah. It's, yes, exactly. It was doing different notes, yeah. You know? <laughs> definitely, definitely. You know, it's all for laughs. You have to, like, I don't know. I, this is only, this is my first reality show. I know it's, like, Nivea's, but... Mm-hmm. You just have to laugh at it. Yeah, yeah you have to. Which we, we actually all put in the effort and the work, and we getting to watch it before everyone's eyes. But we really came there to do this, and you're going to see us at least put in the effort, <laughs> despite what people judge us by or, or whatever. Okay, so here's another question. So are you, do you see yourself doing a group um song or single or you just like mm, how you feeling Nivia? I, I saw that in, in the end I, all the way up to the end I can't give much away but for me personally now I can say I don't think I would be in the group <laughs> <laughs> but it's not easy it's not it, easy. it's not no it's, experience mm. i'm very it's much more i kept stating i work well with people i work with this was more than that honey and mm-hmm. um i don't think i'm built for it <laughs> i don't i don't think but who knows what never say never but gotcha. i think me personally it, it'll be solo <laughs> okay so here's another question so far because it's only been two episodes that air so far how have you guys seen anything on the show that you did not realize was said or done while you were there i didn't know the twins was like we at that the first episode when they like ran out even though i said <laughs> I, I don't know where we were yeah i didn't see that i was like dang they was leaving the house already i did not know that till i saw the episode just that part too uh, I, and obviously it's interesting to see in the confessionals like whatever <laughs> thing but like towards the end of the show like i'm telling you it's an evolution so we all were saying to each other these interviews are going to be crazy we're going to be like i can't stand that bitch the next day we're going to be like i love her like it's just <laughs> it's you're getting to know each other hearts and minds change so i yeah i don't watch anything that i, I see it and, and be like mm. we don't get a preview so we see it mm-hmm. when y'all it so i'm anxious tonight too to be like what well, you know with the editing you don't know how Lord, yeah, I'm gonna always be eating. Clearly, but uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, I I get it. I I totally get it. That's why I asked you the question because I know sometimes you know when filming, you know you don't get a chance to hear what the other people talking about in the other room. You know what I mean. So when you actually you know well, come there, on and how- watch it on TV, you are like, wait a minute, she said that. Well, the how was built for us to be able to kind of overhear. So like, if you're in the studio, you could hear what's being said in the kitchen, vice right. versa, that kind of thing. So like, there there were a few times where some arguments started with just overhearing and in that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's interesting just watching yourself and realizing like, you said it, now it's out of context, sure, but you still said it. And just right. kind of finding yourself as careful as like, I was thinking in my mind like, don't do don't you know don't do this don't do this don't do that you know you're still getting captured 24 hours a day and like there was a clip of me saying that it's been i said it's being choreographed to look like background dancers what got caught was it looks like background dancers so then it's like oh kaylee talking shit it's all that kind of stuff that i don't i'm not taking it too seriously i texted carlos like okay i see you i see you (laughs) that was cute you're trying to be funny with me okay I stay in the kitchen one morning. It smells like hot morning vagina. But I was talking about Land Lake's butter. They cut that part off. I don't like the way Land Lake's butter smell. It smells like hot vagina. And Come they- on, Nivia. Don't even do it. You know the butter wasn't smelling like hot vagina now. You probably would stink up in there. 
Land O'Lakes, I don't like that smell. And that's what I was talking about. We was cooking, but they only played that part. So I'm like, great. What the flirty about, like, it was 24 hours a day. When I tell you, we had microphones in our bathrooms. Um, and I know. And why they thought we might need them is weird. But I guess they felt like, you know, maybe she would be saying something really important while she's going to the bathroom. We had cameras. We had oh, to have like, turned off at night. Like, we would be like, can you please turn off the lights? We'd like to go to sleep. And then they would turn off. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'm surprised Carlos let y'all go to sleep. Because I know I we, you, 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 he ain't getting the scene. Be like, y'all ain't y'all ain't going to bed. Y'all ain't leaving here till we get this scene. I don't know if he did y'all like that. But I don't know. Although we were told that, like, because sometimes we would do Queen's Court at like two o'clock in the morning, and we were told that none of the housewives would stand for this. And we were like, oh, we felt like, oh, we're such good heart actors. <laughs> <laughs> saying the housewives went like this, and I'm like, great. Wait a minute. Okay, so tell me this. Since Shamari has been a part of the Housewives before, what did she say? Did, did she ever compare the situation with you guys to what she experienced with us? Not to me. She said it, it was nothing like that. Honestly. Yeah. Different experience. And the fact that y'all got to go home, whereas and because of COVID also, we were there. We did not get to leave, you know? So mm-hmm. that was and the cameras 24 7 over our beds your mic all from when you even when you wake up they say when you wake up even if you get back in the bed just come put your get your mic get get mics and that was mm-hmm. invasion of privacy.com but <laughs> yeah i know how that, i know how that works and yeah. i mean i i did big brother so i know it feels oh, so, it, oh, you, it, so yes aubrey told us about her experience with big brother like it's intense like that Mm-hmm. But then also not only I don't, I've never seen Big Brother, but I know that like they're on you. Well, we also still had to do this work too. So you know, like the pressure of getting a record 